Hello. How is everyone today? Hi again, Eddie. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, the crazy part is that I'm hot already. Oldie but goodie from last year. Ta -da! Acceptance is key. That was my uh, words for lipedema last year in 2020. And it still applies, and I think it applies to everything. So, this is my mantra, and it should be your mantra. So, just like right now, where I'm like, oh my god, I'm hot. This that is a new thing for me. I'm not used to being hot. Um, and I am, yeah. Um, yeah, but it's all good because that means that my system is coming back. My system is working. And that is the thing. That is what I'm looking for. And that is what this whole um, experience is about. Hi, Terry. Hi, Nate. Um, and so, there we go. So I guess our Kazi is having some real serious um, connection problems today. She's actually at her office. And so she's, unfortunately, I think that's not gonna work. So we're just gonna get started. I will just lead a workout um, it'll be from the hip, <laughs> no pun intended, um, and, um, yeah, so, and, um, ladies, stay tuned, I'm, I believe that I am going to launch within the next couple of days a, um, a shirt that will apply to so many of us, it'll be amazing. Wow, do I look like a um, like I should have a, a knitting a knitted uh, blanket on or something? Um, so anyway, I'm gonna shut the comments um, and um, thanks so much. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the glasses off. I'm going to get. Um, a little slippery. Okay. So I have an update. Actually, let me give the update. Here's the update. The update is, oh, do I have to move back even further? Here's the update. This is me. Hello. Hi, I'm Beth. <laughs> uh, Lipedema awareness advocate, plus size model, speaker, um, uh, I don't know, uh, exercise girl, keto girl, dog mom, boy mom, um, you cook, uh, you um, home person, anyway, that'll all come, beauty girl, whatever. Um, I am going to, um, I am going to give you a one month update right now. So for a month, I have been involved with lipedema, um, keto for lipedema specifically, and also, um, and those protocols are very uh, narrow, um, and then uh, also strength training for lipedema as well. And so um, I have moved into on my strength training every other day, um, taking one day, off a week maybe two if it's necessary from even walking um, and my main concern is to preserve my mobility so that is it um, I'm hoping in all of this that there will be a release of any inflammation and so I am looking for changes whether it be in my clothes in my tape measure on the scale um, and I have recently just started where I am only going to 
the uh, weighing weekly, which is a very strange thing for me because I'm one of those girls that weighs every day um, and measures every day. So I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Um, since May, I have been following a protocol that uh, Dr. Herbs recommended um, for me with um, some supplements. And that has made a tremendous change in my body insofar as that things have gotten much looser because I have been a um, uh, very fibrotic, very tight, very no movement, uh, can't grab, pinch an inch, that kind of body for my whole life. And um, in, uh, so those were the changes. And then uh, about a month in, I started to realize that I could perspire a little. And that was crazy because I haven't perspired in years, which just means that my lymphatic system was so, um, taken over by all of this lipedema. Um, and so, um, but what has happened since then, so I guess I'm what, May, June, July, August, so September. So actually, I guess I'm four months into that supplement. And now what's happening is that my body temperature, I'm actually feeling hot because I always used to feel cold. And I am also um, perspiring on a daily basis, especially here in Los Angeles where it is hot, hot, hot. So um, that's a new thing for me. I'm learning that you wash a hat in a dishwasher, that you can sweat under your bra, and it's not easy to pull up your compression when you're sweaty. Um, and you have to change your clothes multiple times a day, and it's, uh, multiple showers a day and oh my god what a whole new world it is for me um, in this past month following very strictly what I actually had to do with the keto that I haven't had to do is I had to eat so much more and take in so many more calories I probably haven't had this many calories in my whole life except for periods where I was just gaining weight um, and so this is a very strange thing to me, um, but I'm managing, I'm managing to get it in. So my results after one month are that my body that has been through many an up and down, many a surgery, many an injury, many years of fighting, um, uh, it has uh, released six pounds. So um, I'm glad to see that there was some movement. And then when I actually looked at it a week before that was when I got back from my RV trip. And if I calculate that in, I've released 13 pounds since then. So I think my body is fighting hard to, um, to heal internally. And that's fantastic because that's what I need after all these years of messing around with it. And what has been my protocol is that I have had no nuts, I have had no sweetener, I have had no alcohol, of course. Um, I have had limited uh, cheese. I know it seems like every dish that I have talked about has cheese in it, but I only have cheese once a day. Um, and um, uh, let's see, what else? And so it's basically for me included bacon, pork, fish, um, chicken, beef. I guess those are the main things. Some turkey, yeah, I guess turkey, some turkey. Um, those are the main things that I have utilized in, in this. Oh, eggs, they say eggs, eggs for sure. So that's what I've been working with. And I think for me, although it doesn't, sh you know, six pounds to me is nothing, um, I think it does show there's, uh, I think that my lines are coming in a little, but not quite yet. And, but I think where the most of it, now today my hips were down uh, two inches. Um, my waist was the same, which that was weird. Um, and I think the rest of my thighs, my knees, and my calves were all down about a half an inch. So, um, I have been wearing my compression faithfully daily. Uh, and of course, like I said, getting in my walks daily. Um, 
and uh, you know, every other day getting in my uh, weight training. So that's been the results. Um, I don't know if anybody, you know, I don't know if anybody can see any streamlining, but to me, I don't know. Um, to me, it's just a step in the right direction. I feel that my legs right now are so loose, it's crazy. Um, I was actually on the rebounder the other day and the amount, I didn't have any, uh, I had a dress on. I didn't have any tights or anything on and the amount of movement that was there was crazy and insane. So something is working, that's fantastic. I look forward to another, my month, my birthday is in a month and my um, appointment is in a month. My birthday is the 13th, my appointment is the 18th. So I am hoping to roll into that appointment with another successful month. And um, I think that the doctor will be thrilled in my case and then we'll move on to the next step. Um, so we'll see that's the update um, I'm happy um, what I learned the big learning that I had this week in keto is that hello people cut cheese you have to look at it and um, shredded cheese for sure um, so like cut cheese like those little um, packs that have cheese you know like a snack on the go like I was I bought these for my son and the other day I thought, oh, let me just eat the cheese out of it. It's like the cheese is on one side and then the nuts are on the other. And uh, looking at the cheese, it's dusted in potato starch, it's dusted in rice flour, it's dusted in corn starch. So those little additives are not really helpful for the actual, like the strict, strict, strict keto that lipedema women need. And um, I did learn yesterday about a fat powder that you can use to up your fat. And I have to look more into that before I give you any information. So that was an interesting thing because that to me is a little bit difficult to get all of my fat in. So, but that is one of the key aspects in helping lipedema women release their um, excess inflammation so that's what I've got that's my update for the month and I think um, we're just gonna do kind of a little bit of everything um, thanks Nate I appreciate it um, like I said you know my body you're never gonna see from my well you know I can't say never say never but you're never gonna see from my body a quick change like some other people have you know of course because I'm talking about weight lift, I get weight loss. I get so many um, um, ads in my um, my feed everywhere about you know oh, I lost 30 pounds in two weeks. I lost 30, 50 pounds in a month. I lost. Da, da. I was just like oh people you know so it, it always brings me back like oh yeah I could do that I could do that and I'm like no you can't your body is never gonna do that. So forget it, um, that's not the body that you have and that's not the result you're gonna get. So um, what I do think about that first week when I got back from the trip and I got back on track, um, although that track was not as refined uh, as it is now, it was also uh, a proof that my body will release that excess immediately when it's in that state because my body has had so many years in, in this kind of um, process, it, it's always fighting, it's always fighting. So, um, okay, I am going to, uh, let's start with some shoulder rolls, okay? Um, we'll start with some shoulder rolls. I'm only gonna do one set of these because I think our time is now half an hour. So here we go. I did a little reverse. I did the talking first, now the action. Um, so here we go. Okay, um, this feels so good. And you know what? We all need to do this every day because we're all sitting like this on our phones, on our computers, um, 
I don't even know. We're just, we're just always doing this. So we really have to think about bringing our shoulders back. And I think that this uh, little movement really helps to do that. And I typically do about 12 sets. One of the reasons why I always love working with a trainer is because I need them to count for me. <laughs> because when I was on my big weight loss journey, my trainer, I would count along with my trainer. And my trainer would be like six, and I would be like nine, 12. <laughs> but I would always know, even though my number would be off, I would always know when I finished whatever, 10 reps, 12 reps, 15 reps, whatever it was. Um, I think at the time where I consistently worked with the trainer for like two years and lost that 220 pounds, I think that I generally always work with a 10 rep because the, and now I'm gonna go the other way. Um, because the key then was to work uh, heavier and less reps. And I think that that was a good plan for my body. So I have to remember that actually. Oh, that was, okay, now we're gonna do the side. <laughs> I'm just gonna go side to side. amount do you hear that in your head it's crazy okay I'm gonna actually do arm rolls like we're swimming thank you to buff bunny for my cute shirt I love it My mobility on my neck is getting better also. But the noise, does anybody else have noise? God, that's crazy. Okay, so just a few, just a few touches. Breathe. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're gonna do these. Oh, look at look at the jiggle! <gasps> it's so crazy. And I still feel the nodules, but anyway, oh my god! All right, <laughs> one, two. Three, four, five, truly look like bat wings. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get my weights. Got some eight pounders. So let's do some side bends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and there you go. Um, just a reminder, I'm not a personal trainer. This is me sharing my workout with you um, as uh, somebody who's worked out for a long time and has had uh, different experience, different trainers, all of that. So um, I'm just going to do some of my favorites. Um, this is going to be some kickbacks and I'm just going to do them slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, one, and you should do it how it works for you. You should use what you can, even if it's no weight, perfect. Because, and especially if you have lipedema, no weight doing this is still a workout because our arms are heavy, right? So you're gonna get uh, much more uh, resistance than someone without lipedema. If you're without lipedema and you feel like doing it without weight, do it. You have an injury, you are just starting, whatever. Um, And be consistent in your um, thinking about how this works for you. I'm also going to do um, some hammer curls. One, you know what, I don't really like doing those. I'm not going to do those because my hips get in the way. Let's go with this one. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, take a sip of water. And then we're going to do that set again. Let me see if there's any question. Thanks, Real Tone. Thanks. I hope that my uh, Real Tone says that I'm so motivational. I hope that my journey inspires someone else. It's very difficult to have a chronic illness and to work so hard and never see any results or not this type of results that other people have, but the reality is that we're all unique. We have our all have our own um, you know, our own situations and how our bodies respond. So uh, consistency is definitely key. I realized that if I lost six pounds every month in a year, I would lose 72 pounds. And let me just tell you that I would be golden, golden, absolutely golden at that, beyond golden. So stay tuned. We'll see. May take a minute, but hopefully. I'm going to be able to prove that it's all worth it.
the transformation comes when you can start to think like that because never before uh, in my life would I have been thinking like that. I would have been thinking that, you know, six pounds wasn't good enough. And um, I was reminded the other day that every time you try to chase something, you just repel it. So, I'm not going to be chasing the scale or the results. I said at the beginning that I wasn't going to chase the results um, or expect anything, but by going on the scale every day, I was still chasing the results, right? Um, so just kind of have to let it be and see what follows. 10, 11, 12. one in this set and like I said we're doing two sets yeah perfect okay um, here we with those taking a sip the other consistency that I've had is I have been drinking at least a minimum of a hundred ounces of water a day and so that is fantastic I'm pretty sure that I've never drank a hundred ounces of water you know that's not true I, there, it was probably years ago that I did. In many years, I haven't. Okay, so now we're gonna do some, um, I don't know what we call these, but they're these, um, hello, kicks, I guess. So we're gonna do 12 of these. So that'll be 24. Um, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and remember you have to kick to where you can. Nine. Remember, I used to be in the kick line, like in the Rockettes. Seven. Look at that. See, I lose track. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay. Now we're going to do leg side lifts. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
energy these two, the back picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, and then my favorite plie, plie so I can feel like a ballerina. See, look, my hands are just like they always were. <laughs> Feet apart, and we're going to go down. One, two, and isn't it going to be great when I can get even lower? That'll be amazing. Um, my goal is to do a photo shoot crouching. Uh, although I have to say that since taking the supplements I do feel that my my legs feel lighter I do have a more light feeling about me and I do think that also since this past uh, month of eating in this very particular style of keto has been very helpful for that as well I have no idea how many I did so I'm just going to say that was good enough. Um, what's our time? Okay. Let's do that one again because I still will do another set of this and then I want to just do finish with some sit-ups. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And anytime you're doing an exercise that crosses the meridian, it's very helpful for your brain. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So for those of us who are post-concussive people, 10, 19, this is extremely helpful regardless of how far out you are. 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, um, side leg lifts, hold up. Though these pants always stay in place, I do like to fix them from time to time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14, 15, 16, oh, too many, again, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, And again, work at your own pace. God, some people can kick much higher. Some people can kick much less. Right now, I'm kind of okay. But these legs are heavy, and they're their own built-in weights. Do two more. Okay, and then my 
I please? One, two, three. Look at the glow. So good, people. So good. Uh, any badges are appreciated. Just saying. Do I usually like to do my triceps like that? Yeah, sometimes. Am I going to go on the ball? Absolutely. Right now, it's ball time. Um, just a reminder, I don't think I said this before, um, YouTube, oh, just like YouTube, <laughs> just like YouTube has monetization for their creators, Instagram has put in some monetization tools and they're trying to keep up with all the other, uh, apps that are out for their platforms, whatever, and offering you know, just a little smidge to their creators um, in the form of badges that if you have a creator that you find their um, content helpful, useful, you enjoy it, whatever, um, a way to support them is by sending badges during their live, uh, any of their lives. And so there you go. Hit the button. I'll appreciate it. Yes, it's just Nikki. Happy and healthy. Thanks, Mishima. Look at I'm getting healthier by the minute. Look at all that glow. Good Lord. Okay, so the sun may be beating on my face in a second because legitimately I have something pinned up um, as my curtain today because thank you Charlie Charlie thought that he was outside um, oh see there he is <laughs> um, and had to throw the curtains in the wash so anyway all right, I'm just gonna bounce for a second. Oh, it's hot. Um, but I am, that actually feels really good to the knees. Oh, this is a good one. Didn't Kaz make us do these? I'm not doing that right though, though. I was just kind of shaking out the knees with that one. All right, so, and I'm gonna just stretch out my back for a second. Cause that feels really good and then stretch out the hamstrings this is stretching my hamstrings too um, but I'm now going to do oh I know what I wanted to do those standing up ones okay I'm gonna do that and then okay hold on. I think I actually started after 11 so I can go a few minutes more if it happens um, as far as not getting shut off. Okay, let's go with these. One, two, three, four. I guess we could cross over. Two, five, that's better. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm going to change it up again because I feel that's the same thing as the other. Maybe. All right, let me just do them both. 
six, twenty-seven. Again, sorry, counting. Told you, counting is not my strong suit. Okay, we're gonna do the sides again. So one, just the individual. Two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, here we go. Oh, but that's just the best. Oh my god. Oh my god, if you have a bra if you have a ball at home, you have to do that move. It so opens your back so much. Oh no, it does give me a headache, I have to say. Alright. Here we go. Regular crunches. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pretty good. I don't remember if I did two sets of those standing ones. Did I do two sets? I have no recollection whatsoever. Okay, since that's the 11 o'clock. Okay, if you are working out and I didn't do two sets, do two sets. Um, but I'm just going to do these 12 sit-ups again. <laughs> oh, I fell on that far enough again. Oh. Alright, again, the stretch out. Oh my god, the stretch out is so good. Okay, here we go. One. Two. And there you have it, people. 30 minutes of resistance, exercise, strength training. I think that that was a good one. I think I stayed on track. And I think I put in some work. I hope you did. Yes, glowing. <laughs> uh, Oh, it's just Nick things. That's funny. Concerned about working out uh, with all the bodily functions on a, <laughs> on a live stream. That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't worry about much. We're all living a life, you know. I'm not here to be someone that I'm not. And thanks, Trey Jacobson. I appreciate that badge. Truthfully, I do. Hello, Kate. Hi, Odie. Are you still there? Machine Law, are you still there? Nate, are you still there? Jovan, hello today. Okay. Everyone.
be sure to get new water. Um, I know it goes across the board, but you know, start with your 64 ounces and get those in. Um, I find that when I drink from um, a bottle and I know how many of them I have to have, I do much better. Um, as opposed to, you know, always having to count cups. And most of us don't have a cup anymore. Like, I'm pretty sure that nobody's drinking out of a juice glass. Um, I forget what is the smallest cup even at Starbucks. I don't even think it's eight ounces. I think it's 10 ounces. So there's that. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you've had a good workout. I hope you've been inspired to get your movement on. I hope that you, um, you know, um, tweak this uh, workout to fit your goals and your needs and add in some, uh, you know, other activities that you know work for you. Um, add in the weight that you think is appropriate for you. And if you have no idea, I think this is kind of a good starting place. And like I said, you can do it without weights. You can, you know, if you can, if you can lift your leg this high, then that's great. If you can lift your leg this high, that's great. But if you can lift your leg this high, even better. Um, so however it works um, for you, um, I say go for it. And I am encouraging us all to hit our goals by the end of the year. We still have, uh, what did I figure the other day? December. So we have 12 plus two, we've got about 15 weeks still, I think, till the end of the year. That's a lot of time, people. I've been doing this for four weeks, so let's see. So that means four, basically we have about four times left. Um, a little less than that, but just go with me on it. So that means that um, I could lose 24 pounds by the end of the year, basically, which means I could finish out at a 30 pound loss would be fantastic. Fantastic. That'd be amazing. That would be so good. Um, yeah, let me think. Hold up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be great. That would be so good. Um, so I was trying to calculate if it would put me back to where I was when I was diagnosed with lipedema. And I think it would put me back about the same place. So that would be a great place to start the new year. And that's really encouraging. Um, and so, um, you know, I'd love to be walking into that year 2022 with so much uh, more, um, you know, within my step, so to speak, um, so much more um, agility will be great. And, um, you know, I sort of wish the same for you because let's face it, people, we've all been in lockdown. We've all, okay, let's just go with 90%. 90% have moved less in the past two years than they have previously. Even if it was just their coming and going from work or coming and going from school or, you know, their trek in the into the movie theater, even if they got dropped off at the curb, like it's it still there was much more movement that most people had. And so I say, let's get our movement on. Let's get going. Let's do it. We're in it together. Um, and there you go. So thank you very much for joining. I appreciate it. Thank you again for the badge. Um, uh, Dre, thanks for the badge, Dre. I appreciate it. I just got to get the glasses back. You know, when you get to a certain age, people, the glasses really are needed for the, for reading. Um...
Yay! Mashima's going to get that workout going today as well. Um, Nate, I hope you got in your workout. Eddie, I hope you got your workout in today too. I'm not sure who else is uh, working out along and on their goals, but if you're if you're um, working out on a goal, um, send me a message and let me know, and um, we can um, you know we can support each other. So thanks very much again. I hope you all have a great day, and thanks for joining, and thanks Dre for the badge. See y'all. Bye.